Hello. This is probably gonna be a camping series. Yes, I know. Bard College. Yes, that's camping. Well, no, I, I'm, I'm not even sure what the Bard College does. I'm just that's my best guess at being able to play an instrument. Cause I keep seeing people's instruments and I'm like, oh, I want, I want my precious. Hurry up! He's so slow. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. He did, that How stupid freak. Off? He's gonna pay for it. I can't wait to cut off his head, because I'm pretty sure I get to cut his off his head. When I played a Stormcloak, as a Stormcloak, I got to cut off. I don't Tell buy you. fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I do not. You look at me. I'm not. I don't even buy clothes. I don't like clothes. Look at me. I like metal, and I like capes. Cause hey, I'm Batman. Cause I'm, I'm Batman. Are you Batman? No. Oh, I'm Batman. No, actually, my Korean friend Nick is Batman. What's the hurt? Oh, hello. Just tidying up. You're hot. You have Be quick. For I have little patience for mundane concerns. I do hope the court likes the person. I think we've done an excellent job. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death dealing demon and dragon killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex Hakan for the ages. No shouting back between dragon and man, no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go. Though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf gave orders, winter hold disguises. An attack on solitude, total destruction to follow. His men dressed up and then went out to fight. But they reversed Olaf's orders, much to winter hold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. 
Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves a bit of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't... Soon! Soon. These things must be done properly. You will be conducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Oh, yeah. Probably gonna pause this. See you later. Or be right I. By the way, this isn't like the actual series of Skyrim. I will be skipping around a lot. Not cutting out stuff, ah, just pausing. The, the festival is back on! Everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. I am Dean of Loot at the Bard's College, and no, I don't give private lessons. It takes two things to be a good teacher. The first is patience. The second Lady Atia says my voice is a knuckle, please, but she's selling me short. Welcome to Solitude. It is my personal mission to ensure that the Bard's College preserves the great deeds of the past. Probably gonna go to that Threads place and get me some normal clothes. Because, well, who goes camping with no clothes with barely anything but... Nothing but freaking leather arm underwear and a red cape on. You, What's this? You help me. You help people, right? Please. My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. And not, now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Well, last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Yarl. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Until next time. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Derp, 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 derp. Lady Atia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling me short. What that said, I think it said your armor tires you from waiting. Ah, I'll tell it. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the fat. It will start it when you do. You can't take that. Stop. In the name of the Great. Yard. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf.
so nice to get this break from my cleaning daily. You have committed crime.